Hello, and welcome to TMC's How-To Demo Series for Dynamics 365 Sales, where we explore the basic features and functions of Dynamics 365 Sales. If you'd like to request a topic that we haven't already covered, please let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make that happen. I'm Miriam Florio, CRM Practice Manager here at Technology Management Concepts. Today we'll be covering how to create marketing lists in Dynamics 365 Sales. We'll be going over dynamic versus static lists, how to create a dynamic list, how to create a static list, and how to add records to a static list. So let's get started. So I'm logged in Dynamics 365, and on the left-hand side you can see there's a marketing area. Underneath the marketing area are marketing lists. And the marketing lists are comprised of two different types of lists, dynamic lists and static lists. A dynamic list grows and retracts based on the criteria you've set to create the list. So let's say it's all contacts in Chicago. That list will grow as you add contacts to the system that are in Chicago automatically. If you remove contacts from the system that are in Chicago, the list will retract or shrink. A static list could be a list created at a point in time. This might be your 2021 holiday mailer, for example. You might want to keep that list as is so you can look back historically and say how many contacts or who was on this list at this point in time. Static lists also have another benefit of being able to cherry pick and add records manually to that list. So let's go ahead and create a dynamic list. From the marketing list area, I'm going to click on New. So we'll give this list a name. We'll call it Chicago Contacts. And we can choose the list type here. We'll set it to dynamic. We can give it a purpose. We have to say who it's targeted at. So what type of list are we creating? Is it a list of accounts? Is it a list of contacts at those accounts? or is it a list of leads? Generally, the two most common types of lists are going to be contacts or leads because we want to usually contact the different contacts at a single company, which would be the contact records. If you wanted a list that only created one record per account, then you would choose account, for example. So we'll go ahead and choose contact. We can give it a source, a currency, and a lot of other attributes. We're going to go ahead and leave these fields blank and leave ourselves as the owner here and click on Save. Now, in order to manage the members, we can go to the Members tab and see who's on it, or we can click on the Manage Members. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and you can see that it says Look for Contact, and we have the option to use a saved view. Now, if you've created a view already from your advanced find, you could simply use that view in order to create your marketing list. We don't have one, so we're going to actually create this list from this screen. So we'll choose to add a field, and basically what we're doing here is creating a filter in order to capture the contacts that we want to add to this dynamic list. So we'll go ahead and add a row, and we'll choose the address one city equals Chicago. Now if we wanted to add additional values, we could always add more, add another row, add a group, or add a related entity in order to filter the data further. You get the idea. So we'll go ahead and click Find, and then use Query. So even if you don't have members that fall into this criteria, that's okay. We've defined the criteria, and as soon as we add a contact that's in Chicago, that contact would be added to this list, and that's what we'll do in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and use Query. and save. So just to show you how the dynamic lists work, we're going to go ahead and create a quick contact. So we're going to go ahead and add Frank Jones to here, and I'm just tabbing through in order to add the record quickly. And we'll put that city as Chicago, 
save and close. Now as records get added, and you can see right here in the marketing list, that member automatically get added to the list. As records get added, whether it's a manual ad or whether you've imported the records, those members or the list of contacts will automatically grow or retract like I mentioned earlier. So you can then use this list for marketing efforts, which can also include creating a list of phone calls to be made. Now let's go back to marketing lists and focus on creating a static list. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new. And this time we're going to call it my top contacts. And we're going to make the list type static, targeted as at contacts, and we'll leave these other values here blank again. So once we've created this static list, we can go to the members tab and we can add members from here. So I can look for records and add them to the contact list. So let's say I wanted to add Frank Jones. I could simply select his record and click add. Now remember, contacts, leads, and accounts can belong to as many marketing lists as you want. So they can be added to this list and another list, and that's perfectly fine. We can also add members directly from the records. So let's say you're in your system, or you've just added a contact or an account. And perhaps each salesperson might have their own marketing list. We'll go to Scott Connors in the record. I can actually add records to that marketing list directly from the contact record. So I can select add to marketing list right from here, which will provide me with a list of any of the static lists that are created. So you can see here my top contacts is here and I can simply click add and Scott's been added. Now if I go back to my contacts tab, I can also select contacts from here and add them to a marketing list. So now let's go back and take a look at that marketing list. So my top contacts, and if we look at the members tab, we can see the different members that we just added to this list. So it's again, it's a nice way to cherry pick and create that list that you want. So what did we learn today? We went over the two different types of marketing lists, dynamic lists and static lists and their uses. Thanks for watching our D365 sales demo. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because we love when you do that and it lets us know you like our videos. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.